You know what you gotta say? You gotta say action so I know you're rolling the video. Okay, so let me see how many of you hating motherfuckers I can piss off today. Hopefully all of you. If not, well, I'll try harder on the next video. So, one, MPK, Bowling Green. Um, Stacy hadn't been doing the update videos and all that shit because really, guys, there's nothing to fucking update. Uh, congratulations to Dave. Dave won his first MPK last night. Very proud of him. Um, the, the guys from, uh, he got some, I, I don't know who it was, but he got his car lined out and, and that motherfucker was on a rail yesterday. So, um, our car's not on a rail. We're still trying shit. We're still trying to get, figure this combination out. So, uh, I've heard some grumbling come back to me that because of whether you guys believe it or not, I don't go on social media because I just really, I'm the coolest motherfucker I know. I don't have to go on social media. It's kind of a shitty thing to say, but true. Other than my page, so I don't follow all that shit, but, you know, of course, fans send that stuff to me. I heard a bunch of grumbling that I'm not out there standing there signing autographs and all that shit. So let's get something really fucking clear right now. My obligation is to make my fucking car fast and try to win and try to do well with my car because that's what I want. That's what Stacy wants. That's what my family wants. That's what everybody's busting their ass to try to, try to achieve, and that's what my fans want. So the rest of you that are getting upset because I'm not standing out there for six fucking hours and, and I'm in here pouring over data and making phone calls and trying to figure this car out and you're getting butthurt about it, fuck you, I don't owe you nothing. You're the same people that get on the internet, fuck Reaper, he can't drive a car, you need somebody. Now, I, I, I'm past all that, guys. I don't care. The people that support me, my fans that come out here, they sit there and talk to Stacy. They know, I'm, they know I'm not in here fucking laid up under the air conditioner sipping fruity rum drinks. I'm trying to figure this car out, guys. So if you get butt hurt behind that, well, you know what? Avoid my fucking pit. Don't, just don't come down here. Because that's not going to... I promise you, I'm not going to go on suicide watch because I didn't sign your shit. My fans, the people that support us, the people that watch us on these videos that, that have positive feedback and all that stuff, it doesn't matter what I'm doing. Stacy will come get me. I will stop what I'm doing to sign my fan stuff that, that's supporting us. And yeah, it sounds shitty. If you buy a shirt, you'll get a signature. That's not really the case. Because there's people that support us that rolled up here not with an old Reaper shirt or something like that or somebody that I remember from one of the races. I, I have no problem doing that, guys. And Stacy picks a time every race every race that I go out and sign everybody's autographs. Just because you're at the other fucking end doing something down there, that's not on me, guys. I make time every race to sign general autographs. I'm not going to stand out there for six hours doing it until my car's fucking lined out. When my car's lined out and we're doing well, I'll be the happiest motherfucker on the planet. I'll sit out there and sign your shit, crack jokes with you all fucking day. And then when it's time for me to get in my car, I'll get in my car suit up and go fucking run the race. I'll go right back to it. But when the car's not lined out, that's my main focus here. My focus is not making people that, that, that uh, don't give two fucks whether I crash the car or get it down the racetrack or not. You're not my priority. My priority is getting this fucking car to do what it needs to do. So... All you haters can spread this all over the internet. You can come on here crying and whining like a bitch. I really, you're not going to move the bubble on my fuck you meter. I promise you that. Um, to my fans that came out, you guys are fucking great. You're awesome. I mean, you stand back there. You know I'm working on the car. You know I'm trying to do stuff and, and trying to, uh, and, and we're all working to try to get this thing figured out. And you guys are, are the greatest fans anybody could ask for. Uh, I told Stacy, if, if a fan's up there, I don't care what I'm doing, come get me. And a lot of you tell her, no, don't bother him. No, don't bother him. Let him get this car lined out. That's real fans. That's real people that support what we do. And it's not even about t-shirts. Guys, if I wanted to stand out there and, and fucking sling t-shirts, I could sell 10 times as many. I don't have time. That t-shirt sells, that t-shirt sells, that doesn't. I give so many of them fucking shirts away every race. How many do we give away per race on an average? To kids and shit like that. Oh, I give away probably a dozen 
between the the kids that come through and the uh, shooting them through out the out of the uh, t-shirt cannon. We shoot them out. Of, oh, we send them up there to be shot out of the t-shirt yeah. cannon. Yeah, or a dozen. Um. Why not? One day we gave away probably twenty-five or thirty shirts. Mm -hmm. So I was giving them to every every little kid that came by there. Um, so you know, guys, I I do my part to support this. I will go out there and sign general autographs. I, I do it. I just do it a couple for an hour, a couple times a day. And Stacy puts a sign up there telling you when I'm going to be doing it. I may be ten minutes late. I may be ten minutes early, but I come out. And I do that for for the general street outlaw fans. So, guys, you can get mad. I don't care. Like I said, when, when, when you don't, when you're to the point that you ask me if this car out here is the old Reaper with a new wrap, you ain't my fucking fan. You don't give two flying fucks about me. And that, in turn, means I'm not going to stop what I'm doing, take time away from this car when we're still trying to figure it out. It's just like right now. We're fixing to be testing again. I'll leave here. I'm going to go to another track, and I'm going to test there. That's all we've been doing. We have been busting our ass trying to get this thing figured out, and we're really fucking close. And the new comment is, when did Reaper die? Oh, yeah. I mean, you're a real fan if you think I fucking died. I mean, seriously? And is he one of the 405 guys? Oh, that one set you off yesterday. Yeah. I mean, guys, think about that. If you're coming up asking if I'm really from the 405, you ain't no fucking fan. You're not even a fucking street outlaw fan, to be honest with you. You're just a fucking guy that found out that these guys from TV is going to be there. So you want to come out and be relevant for five seconds of your fucking life. I mean, come on, give me a fucking break. I got the greatest fans in the world. I've said that a million fucking times, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. And I will do whatever. I will stop, put that fucking computer away, get off the phone, whatever, to come out. And, 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 and talk to them, shake their hand, take a picture and all that stuff. But if you think I'm dead and you don't know that I'm from the 405 and you don't know that Reaper burnt and all that shit, you barely move the bubble on the fucking street outlaw meter. Matter of fact, you go to the negative side of it because you're just out here because you heard some guys from TV. Kind of like the guy that called me chief one time, thought I was chief. I mean, give me a fucking break, guys. So you guys can slam this video. You can do whatever the fuck you want to do. I really don't care. But when my car's lined out, and the other thing is, if I'm in a bad fucking mood, I'm not going to go out there and sign autographs because when one of you say something fucking stupid, like the guy the other day, the guy that brought, it, brought an American flag for me to sign, and I went fucking off on him, Hey, I was, I was not in the best of fucking moods anyway, and then you bring in a fucking American flag and want me to desecrate an American flag? You evidently don't. One, you don't have any fucking gratitude for where you live, and you damn sure don't know me because that probably was the hardest kick in the fucking balls I've ever had anybody do at one of these shows, to walk around with an American flag, desecrating it, asking for signatures. Guys... I'd just soon wrap that flag around your fucking neck and choke you out is what I'd rather do. You don't desecrate an American flag. But there was a veteran that came up here yesterday. Brought these to me. Which actually I've got quite a few of these give to me because there's a lot of the veterans that know. And every veteran, I tell them thank you for your service. If they're wearing a hat, whatever, you know, And I've, I've had a lot of these give to me because they know I'm patriotic and they know I'm, that, that that's that's a big thing to me. I stopped. I, I had I had some great guys in here from Camaro Central that that's wanting to uh, uh, talk with us about partnering up. And I stopped those guys. I stopped in that conversation with those guys to let that man. I had him come up in my fucking trailer, and I thanked him for his service and I thanked him for for, for the for the gift. You know, guys, that, that's that's a fan. That's somebody that I don't give a fuck what I'm doing. Unless I'm strapped in the car fixing to make a hit, I'm going to spend time with that person. Uh, so, this just this ain't really a rant video. This is just, let, let me set the record straight. I've said it every fucking year, I've told you guys. When I'm struggling with that car, that car is my focus. So, 
get mad, get sad, go jump off a fucking bridge, I don't care. And you can go slam me all over the internet because honestly, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. So, I got, and, and oh yeah, and my favorite one, not only have I died, Stacy, you do know I'm in rehab now, right? Because oh, I got back on the shit and lost all this weight. And oh, really? The guy yesterday cracked me up. He goes, dude, you look fucking amazing. He said, if I'd known fucking crack could do that, he said, I'd start smoking a long time ago. I said, amen, brother. Amen. He was joking. Oh. He was making fun of all the people saying, oh, he's back on meth. He's lost so much weight. All right, boy. Shit works good, too. Maybe, maybe you fat motherfuckers that are sitting on a couch eating fucking Cheetos. I still get to eat Cheetos. <laughs> uh-huh. Maybe you ought to get you a crack pipe. Start going crack. All right. Anyway, I'm going to get off that fucking bullshit because, uh, anyway, I'm not in rehab. I'm not dead. Uh, what else? I am from the 405. And, and if you're one of the people that asked one of these questions, this video is for you, retard. I'm done.